have your name, please? Hi, I'm Carly Villasenor. Um, I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I have been at Azul for a week. Awesome. And what is your discipline? I am a mixed media um, painter. And how? Did, when did you start painting? I've been painting, I started painting um, sort of traditionally since uh, high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did you pursue that in college or? Yeah, and then I, um, I graduated from Portland State University uh, with a BS in art practices. Um, and I, that's where I sort of transitioned and found um, the medium that I work with now. Um, I had this instructor that said, I took a painting course, and he said that um, if you want to bring in a sculpture and call it a painting, we can have a discussion about it. Mm. And that sort of just opened up this world of possibilities of, um, to me, what what a painting could be considered. And it was just so exciting um, finding repurposed materials and adding that and seeing what, what the possibilities are. And so if you had not had that instructor open your mind in that way, do you think maybe you might have transitioned to being a sculptor in the sculpture department or? I don't know. I hadn't taken any yeah. really sculpture courses at that time. I think I would have just, I don't know, hopefully met someone else who yeah. inspired that too or had found something that inspired that train of thought. But um, yeah, I might have just stayed with traditional painting. Um, and what but, is it that you find so rewarding about having a more maybe three-dimensional or outside-the-box process? I think it's um, a challenge. It's uh, what it's a lot of um, a lot of failures and kind of taking two steps back and then um, yeah just trying to make make an idea work and figuring out the uh, the process and the technicalities of it. Do you generally have an idea kind of what you're trying to convey or you just sort of let it develop organically? It's usually process based. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'll have something that maybe an idea I this current piece that I'm working on I knew um, I had to transport it and I thought it would be really cool if I could make something that I could fold within itself to fit in my suitcase. Oh, yeah. um, and so that's where I just went from there. And so, yeah, I suppose working in that way, not really having a plan has it can um, have its setbacks, but I, I like that. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you can always find ways. Yeah. So do you do a lot of arts residencies? No, this is actually my first one. Oh. Cool. Yeah. And what was your reason for wanting to? Um, I really liked that it was more of on your own schedule. Um, and the location was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just had a really good impression of it from what I saw. Uh -huh. And is there anything about being at Azul specifically that has somehow gone into your art? If you know what I mean, just inspired it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the scenery, I think, definitely, and, like, the solitude of it, I think, a lot, mm. um, has, the first one that I made, I, um, I really enjoyed looking out and seeing the, the landscape and that, that flux between fall and winter, mm. but then it was still really warm, and so working with that, I really like that temperature and those colors. Yeah. And you're from Oregon, Portland, mm -hmm. and the temperature there versus here? It was 32 degrees when I oh, left. Oh, <laughs> dang. Yeah. No bueno. No. <laughs> so that must be a welcome change. Yeah. 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 Would so, you have any last thoughts or ideas? Um, don't believe I do, just that I've really enjoyed my stay here, and it's been really rewarding and therapeutic so awesome yeah. thanks so much yeah, thank you yeah.